Ripple, not the drink. The cryptocurrency has fast become the less expensive option to Bitcoin, but while Ripple has suddenly become the world's number two cryptocurrency, it is in significant decline at this hour. XRP, which is sort of the official name of Ripple's cryptocurrency, tumbled 26% from its record high of $3.84 hit yesterday. This after the biggest U.S. exchange, Coinbase, put the kibosh on recent rumors that it would soon add the digital currency to its own marketplace. So a pullback may have been due because XRP has soared 38,000% last year alone. It is now second, as we mentioned, but only to Bitcoin in crypto assets. The company behind XRP, Ripple, the CEO is here in a Fox Business exclusive. Brad Garlinghouse uh, has that title. And, um, you know, let me just say up front, you're an instant billionaire here over, over the past year, aren't you, because of this Ripple? Well, Liz, it's certainly been an exciting year, there's no question. And I think the performance of XRP is really just a reflection of the problem it's solving and solving a real problem at scale. And so the value that's been created, I think, is all about solving that real, solving a real problem, solving it at scale. And I'm you know, happy to talk more about that. Well, what, what's going on here? It's, it's down more than 20 percent over the past 24 hours. We know that Coinbase said uh, we're not in this yet, um, but there are a whole bunch of issues at play. And there are people who own this now. They looked at it and said, well, geez, it's it's uh, about three bucks or so. Um, it's much less expensive, certainly, than Bitcoin, which is uh, at thousands and thousands of dollars. So tell me, why is it dropping? Well, I think over the last 30 days, XRP is up over 1,000%, so 10x. And so I think what you're seeing is, you know, there is a lot of volatility in the digital asset market broadly. And certainly that's true in the Bitcoin market. It's been true for XRP. And I think that's because these markets are very nascent. This is still the earliest innings of the creation of what I think is really going to be a new asset category. And that asset category, I'll keep going back to, it's about real utility solving a real problem. For Ripple, that's using XRP to solve a global payments problem. There's literally $27 trillion of money parked around the world between banks in order for them to settle payments between themselves. Using a digital asset like XRP, that can be, the speed of that can be vastly faster and vastly mm -hmm. less expensive. Even compared to Bitcoin, XRP is a thousand times faster and a thousand times less expensive. Okay, but let's let's get to sort of the news of the day and the movement in it. Again, obviously these things are extraordinarily volatile. We're well off 19,000, which was uh, around where the high was for Bitcoin. But um, you did start with some good news over the past couple of days, and that was the top three money transfer sites had agreed and said, we're in. We will use the XRP. We will do this for cross-border transfers. Can you reveal the three names of these money transfer companies that have partnered with you guys? You know, like, unlike, I think, some in the crypto community, Ripple has really been very proactive in working with financial institutions, okay, working the with names, banks, working so with that, payment providers, so that, I, and I think with that would help if you, if you were sort of uh, transparent about the names. Well, part of working with those companies is we announce when they're ready to announce. You know, there are a lot of rumors about the American, we, we are working with American Express today, for example. There are a lot of rumors about that that had leaked out of American Express. We didn't confirm that until American Express was ready to confirm that, which we made public in, I think, uh, November. So we, we publicly shared we are working with three out of the five largest in the world. Uh, we'll publicly, you know, make those announcements with those customers when they're ready. Are you concerned about the frantic froth around everything related to the word Bitcoin, the word blockchain? We're thinking of just a couple of weeks ago when a beverage company called Long Island Ice Tea Company just announced to the market, we're changing our name, we're changing, and I think the ticker changed in the last 24 hours, uh, to blockchain, something, something related to blockchain. We're going into uh, looking at blockchain as an opportunity. Uh, that stock... Now, what used to be LTEA, Long Island Ice Tea, is now LBCC. I'm assuming the B and the CC have to do with blockchain, is down 20% today. And people have woken up and said, wait a minute, there wasn't really a meaningful change. Does that harm what you feel is a legitimate, and as you say, an, it, it, we're in the incipient early stages of something that could be very valuable? I think there is no question that's harmful. I mean, I'm glad you asked about that because... At the end of the day, we are creating a new category. And you see what I'll call bad actors out there doing things that are bad for the long-term value creation, the long-term solving real problems for real customers. You know, Ripple has announced over 100 customers work with today. And when I see some of these things happen, I think that's not good for the whole industry. Having thoughtful regulation and working with governments, we announced the fact that we're working with the Bank of England as an example. We announced some things we've done with the U.S. Fed and their Faster Payments Task Force. We're going to keep working with the system because I think 
the early days of Bitcoin were all about down with government and down with banks. Ripple has been, look, governments aren't going away, banks aren't going away, let's work with the system to dramatically improve the way and reduce the friction for how money moves globally. Do me a favor, Brad, when you are allowed to reveal those names, please come back on, because I think that helps with the whole theory that blockchain is supposed to be a ledger that makes everything more transparent. Uh, watching Ripple very closely, Brad, thank you very much.